بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين صلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد رحمة الله as we mentioned the ayah where we said where Allah سبحانه وتعالى says في كتاب الكريم من آياته الليل والنهار and from his signs is the day and the night and the sun and the moon and that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commands you to worship him and him alone and not his signs. And if we ponder and reflect upon that ayah, that is an ayah shari'ya, and we look at the ayah koniya to practice, meaning the shari'ya ayah is that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commanded us to worship him and him alone. And the konia is all the life in this small cavern, if you will, or where the sea has eaten away. How many crabs do I see and how much life is present here that we can't even begin to count and we can't even begin to reflect upon. And in fact, what is the life, what is the daily routine of one of these crabs even? That is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That is, each one of these crabs, in fact, has the rizq. And it may seem odd and strange, but if we think of things and we really reflect upon the ayat of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the ayat koniya, the ayat in his creation, then we can only determine and have certainty about the rububiyah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the ulahiyah of Allah. So this is why the ulama, you find that often they say the rububiyah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala yastelzimu al-uluhiyah, that rububiyah, the lordship of Allah. So here we have Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's creation, it's vast and beautiful creation. And that that necessitates that you worship him and him alone. So that means al ul al that Rububiya, the Lordship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it necessitates that you worship Him and Him alone. So reflect on that qa'idah, reflect on that principle. Because basically that means by pondering on this beautiful creation, and I'm going to emphasize again, I'm in Tanzania, and this is a ni'mah minni amillah that I've been able to come back to Africa and experience the beauty of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's creation and see the his 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 uh, his servants, you know, the uh, people from another continent doing and living their lives and how they live and how they interact with one another. All of that is from the koniya. It is from the ayat of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And when we look at the nations and tribes and the various tongues of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's creation, it should incite in us and affirm for us that he and he alone is the only one worthy of worship. Tabarak wa ta'ala. So that's what it means. Al Arububiya Yastelzimu Al Uluhiya. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad.